am <laughs> I'm gonna start the year fresh. Can't you see you wanna start the year clean and fresh? <laughs> Right, boys and girls, we're back. And like we always say from the jump, we just get straight into it. We pull them to the side and we just go. Damn, bro. You pull them to the side and we just go. Damn, yeah, bro. Man, just. Ta. Oh, spitting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spitting. Yeah, yeah. Spitting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's yeah. go. Let's go. Spitting, split. Spitting, split. Split as we do, and of uh, obviously, of course, we have the question of the week, and the question of the week was mum slash dad math. Mum slash dad math. All right. You already know the trend has been going and been going and been going. We're doing the boy math, girl math, this math, that math. Black and your math, boys this. are are sheep like the rest of them. Yeah, we're so no better than the rest of them. <laughs> we are no better, but we are the best. Uh, facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come it doesn't on. make sense. But that, we just we, when you same. say it with chest, it doesn't matter. It doesn't need to make sense. It doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> cool. Right. right. Mum, dad math. Mum math is calling me into her room to get the remote six inches away from her hand. I've never been treated like that, but I yeah, have. I bet. I have. I, and that's, that's uh, a I have. take. I have. It's the it's and it's it's facts. It's always the margins. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. yeah. Pops in, my, pops, my pops will get up. Or you, if what my pops will do, if he knows he can't be bothered to get up and change the channel, he's just falling asleep where he is. Yeah. <laughs> the TV's on and he's falling asleep where he yeah, is. Yeah, bro. My mum will call me. Yeah, and she won't tell you what's going on either. Facts. She'll just say Fuhad and let the air And sit. let the air, <laughs> just, just let it sit. I'll be like, mum? Yeah. Mum? <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Bro. Until she starts hearing me walking and saying mum, then she'll be like, oh, come and get this thing for me. Cause she knows I'll screw. Ah, oh, she knows I'll screw. It's jarring. Oh, my days. Dad math is driving five miles out of town because the petrol is three pence cheaper. Damn. That's backwards yeah, math. Yeah, that's, that's, that's hella backwards. <laughs> backwards math. Mum math is getting you to sleep early two weeks before school starts to get into a routine. Oh, that's going to be facts. <laughs> I knew it would. That's going to be facts, bro. I knew it that's would. That's so facts. Yeah, it is. It, and that's obviously mum math. Oh, you need the routine. <laughs> school starts in two weeks. Bro, get out of my face! It's eight PM and the sun's yeah, out. Yeah, it's out, and I can still hear the the hoses spraying. <laughs> I can hear the pit of power yeah, of yeah, everything yeah, else giggling. Oh, the hose is still spraying. <laughs> yeah, man, it's still spring. Allow it, man. Oh God. God, uh, giving you trauma as a kid, but then denying it all when you're an adult. Mm hmm. Preach. Dad math is them saying, "Are you gonna challenge me when you prove them wrong?" Oh my God. <laughs> I can hear it in a Nigerian English accent so well. Swear. Are you going to challenge me? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I've never, I've never had that confrontation in my life. Are you going to challenge me? You're just a you, you know? Just speaking facts. Yeah. You asked me a question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. answered. Bro. And the response is, are you going to challenge yeah, me? Yeah, this isn't the animal kingdom. Yeah. Don't, I'm not challenging anyone. Right, I'm just speaking, dad. Are Allow me. Challenge me. Wow, there's so, there's so much authority in authority that. in that word challenge. Yeah, yeah facts. Are you ready to take over? Because here I am. Facts. Are you ready to take over? <laughs> Are you ready to start paying bills? <laughs> that's clearly what he's asking. Bro, no, 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 no. Oh. That's scary. Mum math is grabbing her. Sorry, mum math is grabbing her hand when she tries to hit you. Equals you are trying to kill her. Yeah. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you try and dodge, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she starts like, oh, yeah, no, bro. bro. You <laughs> dodge that punch, she falls to the yeah. floor. Say <laughs> so he hit me. He hit me. Mom, stop uh, all yeah. these lies. <laughs> stop all these lies before dad gets home. Bro, 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 bro. Murk me. Bro. You murk me. Bro. Stop it. That's crazy. <laughs> Mum math is coming home from work and getting angry at your children relaxing. <laughs> James? James, I don't think you man understand how blissful my life was between like three and six every day. When I got back home from school, Dragon Ball Z, a bit of Trouble TV, a bit of Nickelodeon. Oh, six trouble? Bit yeah. Six o'clock, I'd hear my pops or my mum's car door slam. Livid. And the PTSD yeah, 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 will start yeah, 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 flowing. Yeah, 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 livid, bro. I remember The anxiety saying. and the... Even if I've done nothing or I know I've done everything I need to do before they get in, I'm still like, fuck, playtime's over. Bro. Playtime's over. I remember coming home and thinking, because I used to mitigate that by always being out. Okay. And I used to come home at my curfew. Yeah. And when I opened that door, mm. 
bro, I used to have to play my steps perfect. Yeah, yeah, and I open yeah. that door, I have to say hello to yeah, everyone. Yeah. Bro, if I made it from the door to the kitchen without announcing myself and saying hello, beef! Oh, beef, bro! Oh. That's, yeah, it's stupid, man. Oh, just come on, just John, let, let man. us live as yeah, kids, yeah, yeah, as yeah. children, being as your, your child. Being vexed to your kids for relaxing is crazy. Bro. I remember it like it was yesterday. Oh, facts. Saturday morning. Facts. Bro, Saturday morning, if the washing up wasn't done from the night before. Brother. Arms. Uh, there's one on here, facts, actually. There's literally one on here. I'll um, go to that one right now. Mum math. Is it being 9 a.m. on a Saturday and her screaming, are you going to sleep all day? Yeah. <laughs> are you bro. going to sleep all day? Bro. Big man, it's a weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's nine o'clock. Yeah, let me sleep. Let Just me let me sleep, sleep bro. bro. Are you going to sleep all day? Is right. Bro. Bro, it's the most jarring thing. I know it's chore day, but relax. Yeah. <laughs> the chores aren't going anywhere. Oh, uh, bro, the sound of that hoover on a Saturday waking me up, the most jarring thing possible. I remember my mum used to do this. I've said this on the pod before. My mum used to do this all the time. This one, I was still working at Grill on the Market. And obviously, my, I, I knew I was livid every day because I worked the longest shifts out of everyone in my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, just let me rest, <laughs> bro. I've got a 12-hour <laughs> yeah. shift tomorrow. Let yeah. me rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every morning before my mum would leave to work, she would wake me up. Bear in mind, I probably had about five hours, six hours sleep at no, this point. No, no, no. She no, would no. wake me up, tell me the chores to do, not to forget and then leave. I was like, you know I have a phone. Oh, Fucking just, text it, me. Literally text me. Put, Te put, put I put tell on the fridge. all the time, stop waking <laughs> me up. Please yeah, text yeah. me. And she gets mad at me for me having an attitude at her. Yeah, 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 of course. You're putting me in this yeah. position. Uh, <laughs> you're putting me in this <laughs> position. I'm trying to be fresh for work. <laughs> Bro, you're fact. fucking talking about <laughs> do the dishes. <laughs> text me. <laughs> it's so frustrating. Bro, 100. Oh, I remember like it was yesterday, bro. Every week without fail. Oh my god. Mums know not, they, they know what they're doing. I of don't know why they do. they do it. Of course they do, bro. It's their little so entertainment. Much, so much jar. <laughs> it's their little entertainment before they they scurry off to make some money. It's the only pleasantries they've got. Oh, Jarin, it's actually getting me vexed. It's That's, not a funny thread, it's, it's just a PTSD thread. It is a PTSD, it's a trauma thread. Oh God. Uh, mum math is um Mum Math is them asking you if you know your schoolwork like you know those songs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I've never had that one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, know your yeah. school like you know, know those songs? songs. <laughs> yeah, those primary school, early secondary school days. Yeah. All you knew was music. Oh. Uh, yeah. Why didn't... are you not allowed to just be enjoy Family. stuff? Family. Parents <laughs> don't want their kids to have fun. No, they don't. Period. No, they, they don't. They don't. Because they don't. They don't. I can, the thing is like, as an adult now, we're, we're all 32, you're proper male, right? We're deep in how hard, not necessarily how hard life is, but how stressful days can actually be. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I can imagine us now going back to yard and just seeing kids just spread yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My days been I'm smacking everyone. I'm smacking all three of you in a row. <laughs> Line up so I can clatter you as an ETC, like ta, ta, ta. I don't want to wave my hand more than once. ETC. <laughs> because it, you, I can't come home from a long day and see you man running around yeah, having yeah, fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've just done a three hour commute. Fucking I'm fix three, yeah, 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 I'm trying to see how you mute. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Fuck. Why are you laughing? Sit down and shut <laughs> I'm hungry. Fuck are you laughing at? <laughs> no one made me food, yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah. I'm the breadwinner and there's no food on the table. There's no fucking bread. <laughs> oh, oh, so I yeah, get it. Yeah. I get it. Do you see what I'm saying? But as a child, <laughs> loud child, me. Yeah. And then ask for this life. Facts. <laughs> Facts. And then ask to be born, bro. Oh. bro. I used to, I remember the, the one smackable offense all the time when I lost my temper as a yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever my mom was like, oh, you have no respect. Mm. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> I gave birth to you and I've raised you. Da, 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 da. I yeah. used to say, that's the law. Yeah, facts. It's the law. <laughs> I would never, rubbing that in my face. I would never say that, yeah, but yeah, facts. Bro, I still had twice. <laughs> Wow. I wouldn't be here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was dodging. <laughs> I said it twice in my life, I was dodging, bro. Oh my days. I wouldn't be here. <laughs> wow. I remember saying that, bro, you're moving like I asked to be born. Yeah. Fuck, it's the law to take care of me. Don't use that as, as the, the bare minimum. Oh, God. Oh, bro, it used to, it used to get crazy. Oh, but Jesus. yeah, the fun aspect is mad. It is, it is. You see it's, what I'm saying though? It is mad. I remember one time, <laughs> One time I asked my mum if on one summer's day, 
One summer's day, I asked my mom, can we go have a water fight? Yeah. At me and my brother. Yeah. She said, yeah, yeah, do your thing. Yeah. She cussed us for coming in wet. She lost her <laughs> shit. She was like, look at you. What did she think the a water fight is? I was like, it's a water fight. It's a fucking water fight, yeah. bro. And she was like, you're taking a piss. Look at your fucking clothes. Look, you're soaking up the thing. I was like, I don't understand. I can't win. Uh, and she can't win. She wanted us to do water yeah, fight and yeah, miss. Yeah, 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 every dodge, yeah, everything. Play, play water. Yeah. Just water the flowers. Oh, God. Oh, bro, jarring. Very much so. All right, mum, dad math. Dad. <laughs> dad math. <laughs> this has happened to me so many times. Yeah, good. Dad math is making you fetch the belt for your own beating. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Fuck! <laughs> My pops would just say, go, go, go and pick a belt. Pick go, a belt? Go pick a, bro, you start you know doing you're mathematics. To, you're not allowed to pick the skinny Nah. Well. Then he's like, yeah, yeah. 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 And he will lick my skin off. <laughs> <laughs> it will, the skinny ones will lick my skin off. <laughs> go and pick a belt. Oh Food my hat? days, bro. Nah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry, no. No, 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 no. That's no. fair. Go and pick a belt. Fair. Like, I'm, I'm leaving. I'm running away, bro. But you're not, because when you're yeah. back, it's <laughs> even. I've told you, man, the story. I've tried to run away before. <laughs> I didn't make it far. I made it to school and back. They beat me. <laughs> you, man. <laughs> they beat me. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, bro. <sighs> <sighs> uh, I. <laughs> nah, no, no, no. This, the mad thing about the difference between your parents and my parents here. Yeah. <laughs> if I tried to run away, yeah. there will be no beatings ensued. Okay. The level of pure victim that my mum would play in those oh, moments. Swear. Bro. Oh. I'll never hear the end of it. Oh, swear. I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> she'll run She'll run to a room like I beat her. <laughs> she'll run to a room, slam the door and cry so loudly. <laughs> And ask God why? Oh, nah, bro. <laughs> Stop all yeah. of that. I'm leaving because of I you. Do, what did I do for this level of disrespect? <laughs> oh my this God. This level of disdain. <laughs> That's joke. What did I do? <laughs> bro, yeah. yeah oh, it's jarring. I would have been guilt tripped for four weeks. Damn. Yeah, I would have been beat that first day and being bruised for four weeks. <laughs> My days. I tried to run away before. It just didn't work, bro. <laughs> I don't even know what prompted me to do it. Oh, uh, if I'm picking belts, is what prompted yeah, you to probably, do it? Probably, but I don't know what I don't know what I thought was. I don't know what I thought I was going to achieve out of it. Do you see what I'm saying? You're a child, bro. You're not supposed to know. It was bonkers to me. I was in primary school. I remember I was one point. I was so. <laughs> this is so dramatic. I was so over this curfew bullshit. Yeah. I'm so over the bullying. Yeah. And the teasing. Yeah. <laughs> I started looking at holes in bushes. Fool. As you're just walking down like a cycle path, you'll see like a little, just like a little crawl space yeah. in a bush. And you think, I could rather just live there. <laughs> I could live there, no one's gonna fire me, bro. And it looks kind of cozy. Wow. Then I can stay out as long as I want. Wow. Bro, obviously I'm talking about you. Yeah, I've got, uh, clearly, yeah, bro. Yeah, And I used to look at like homeless people and I just think, it doesn't, doesn't look, look that yeah, bad. You might go to Kush, dude. Yeah, it looks cozy as yeah. fuck. What do you mean you got two sleeping bags? That's crazy, bro. Oh two, my days. two sleeping bags and your hat's full of coins. Oh, ha! I'm not seeing money like that. <laughs> you seem to be doing just fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. But that that pick a belt thing's crazy. Brother. Yeah. Fetch. Fetch your weapon. <laughs> right. Mum math is making you clean the entire house for guests that aren't going to leave the living room. <sighs> Fucking. Bro. Facts. Bro, when telling me to clean my room mm. because her friend's coming over is the most nuts thing ever. The most nuts thing if for me, my mum would say, why haven't you changed my bed sheets? It's New Year's Eve. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. She said, Stop. we need to start the year sentence. fresh. That's not. <laughs> Why haven't you changed my bed sheets? That's not a sentence a human being has said. I'm telling no, you, no, no. Nigerians <laughs> get away with murder. Murder, James. It's not <laughs> Why? I can't even. You lost me the first half. Yeah. Why haven't you changed my bed sheets? <laughs> I'll stand up. <laughs> I'll, I mean, obviously, I'll get sat back down, yeah. but in that moment, I'll stand up. And then to finish it off, the confidence, it's New Year's Eve. 
The I'll, fuck does that mean to me? I wanna, family. <laughs> I'm gonna start the year fresh. Can't you see him wanna start the year clean and fresh? <laughs> fuck! I can't hear stuff like that. Can't you see I wanna start the year clean and fresh? <laughs> it's... <laughs> Some of the stuff I've been I've been told is is so barbaric, bro. Can't you see? I want to start the year clean and fresh. <laughs> Change oh. my bed sheets. Wow. Barbaric. I couldn't hear that in a Nigerian accent. Oh, brother. It will spin me. Brother. It was spin it's so barbaric. <laughs> like. oh. It will spin me, bro. The, the, the chores they give us. Anyway. Oh, God. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on, go on. <clears throat> Dad math is taking the money that was given to you by a relative and saying they're gonna hold it for you. Been there so many times. Oh, oh bro. So many times. Bro, bro, so many times. bro, literally. <laughs> Dad math is asking me the same math question whilst there's tears in my eyes. <laughs> Oh fuck! <laughs> That's bullying. Bro. That's just bullying. <laughs> Whilst there's tears in my eyes. <laughs> That's jokes. The next one. Good, good. Dad math is having kids with multiple women and expecting everyone to have one happy family. <laughs> Dads, yeah. <laughs> Dads have a sense of delusion yeah. that doesn't, they demand respect in every facet. Factual. So if, Factual. if my four baby mums are not getting along, yeah. where do you man get the audacity? Yeah, facts. Yeah. I work 12 hours a day. Facts, I provide for all of you. I provide for Shut all of you. Shut up and get along. Yeah, yeah. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. You're gonna put me in an early grave. Yeah, facts. You man don't want that. Yeah. Who's gonna provide? And then when I was 17 kids, I'm complaining. No one ever comes to see me. Yeah. No one ever comes to see yeah, me, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. all I've done for you, man. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I've got a few more to go. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Mum math is them having a bad dream, so you can't go out. Oh, <laughs> I've never had that one, but I've, I've heard it. Mm, That's crazy. Mum mm, mm. slash dad math is not letting you stay out late, but comfortably sending you to another country to study. <laughs> That's me. To be fair, that's 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 me. When the way you man say that so comfortably has yeah. always spun me. Oh, we've got sent to think wherever to study. Yeah, like yeah, you, yeah. the fact that like you're strict in this household, mm. but you're willing to send me across the world. Yeah, facts. Bro. By myself. Facts, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. It's factual. It's just factual. Yeah, it oh, is crazy. Jesus. <laughs> Mum math is beating your kids before church and wondering why they won't praise the Lord. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh God. <sighs> Mum math. Bad grades equals early pregnancy. Coming home late from school. Early pregnancy. <laughs> Sleeping in. Early pregnancy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh shit. Oh. <sighs> All right, two more. Okay, my head's pounding, bro. Dad math is what is them lecturing you about what they've achieved when they're in your age after giving you an ass whooping. One hundred. <sighs> All dads have have won a, a gold medal in the Olympics by age eleven. Oh, facts. But you know when I was your age, I've done. Yeah, oh, bro, come on, when I bro. was your age, I was walking miles to school. When you were my age, it was like nineteen seventy four. Oh, uh, bro, so relaxed. Yeah, literally. I don't want to be your age <laughs> at that year. So relax. Literally. Oh, God, it's jarring. Anyway, last one. Dad math. Always broke his, always broke for his kids, but manages to send money back home. Interesting. Damn. Interesting. Damn. But yeah, that was mum dad math. This was literally f like foreign mum and yeah, dad Yeah, 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 facts. facts. This, this is like, yeah, first generation <laughs> immigrant yeah, mum and dad yeah, math. Yeah, yeah, that's wow. exactly what it was. I was locked in, I was I there. I wanna hear white mum and dad math. Mm. All right, that's, so that's roses. Oh, is it? I you reckon. <laughs> I reckon. I remember, well, mine was white, but Irish white's a different white. Yeah, it's not rosy. Yeah. It's more thorny. <laughs> Irish white's a different white. It's more thorny. Yeah, bro. Jokes. Wow. Right, Welcome. cool. 
Sorry, I cut you off. No, I was gonna say, I said, literally said welcome. Oh, welcome guys. Thank you for being with us. As always, we need you to head on over to patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs. Yes, sir. Contribute a nice three pound a month. Tempe a day. And be a top boy or a top girl. Yes, sir. if you're not a top boy, what are you? Bottom what? boy, sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't on. Bottom boy, I'm, I'm here now, sorry. Wow. Sorry, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Wow. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. I clocked you like three seconds late, but I'm I here. saw. I'm here. If you're not a top boy, you're a bottom boy. Freaks is moving like a bottom boy. Soz. Anyway, <clears throat> patreon.com forward slash it's gigs, three pound a month. Don't be a day. Run the pizza SNG. Yes, get all the exclusive episodes over there every single Thursday. Yes, years and years and years worth of backlog if you're like a little binge. Four years to be exact. Four years of backlog if you're like a little bingey whingy. Mm. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe to the channel. Facts. If you're listening to us, leave a nice review. We're not doing top five today because Fuha couldn't find something juicy. But I have something else that's juicy. We have something else that's juicy. <sighs> Intro us, G. Right. So I have had the privilege of watching Godfathers of Harlem. Not gonna lie to you, man. Lionsgate Plus, they know what they're doing. I'm not gonna lie to you, man, either. Mm. <clears throat> Lionsgate Plus do know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Yeah, Lionsgate it. Plus, mm. scroll through the catalog. Did I watch some Godfather of Harlem? Mm. Yeah. Did I realize it's a A-list cast? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. The cast yeah, is I did. strong. Was I gobsmacked? <laughs> a little bit. The cast is strong. <clears throat> Talk to me, daddy. So Godfather's a horror, those that you that don't know. It's um, stars Forrest Whitaker. He is named Ellsworth Bumpy Johnson. And it's basically um, based in Harlem in like the 1960s, 1963 to be exact is, the, um, is when it starts. It's basically the blacks versus the Italians in the heroin business yeah. on the road. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. The blacks versus the Italians. And it's just mob beef after mob beef after mob beef after mob beef. So I'm gonna quickly give a round up synopsis of each character before we go on to uh, season three, ep one. So Forrest Whitaker, like I said, his name is Ellsworth. His actual first name is Ellsworth, but everyone calls him Bumpy. Um, he is married to Mamie. They have a daughter called Margaret, right? So um, they've, whilst uh, Forrest Whitaker or Bumpy was in jail rather, Mamie and Margaret been happy family, roses, blah, doing their thing. Um, he's come back now and his first order of business is I need to be back on road. Bro, I want my car. I want my car back and I need to be back. I need to be top don of Harlem. All he keeps saying is Harlem is mine. Harlem, yeah, is, mine. Bro. Harlem is mine. And he wants it to be his. Like he never left. Like he never left. <laughs> my man Vincent, on the other hand, Gigante mm. has, has other plans. He's so, uh, Vincent Gigante is one of the Italian uh, tosses, bosses in one of the five families. And it's basically a war between Bumpy and Vincent Gigante. But on the side, with Bumpy and uh, Mamie, uh, the wife, the daughter Margaret's going through stuff and is trying to figure out Wagwan, Wagwan, Wagwan. And we figure out that Elise, who is um, Antoinette Crown Legacy, or Crow Legacy rather, Elise is actually Bumpy's actual daughter. Yeah, Margaret. She, yeah, they adopted Margaret, yeah, innit? Yes, yeah, they not even adopted her. Oh, even. I didn't think. Oh, fam? She's an ah. I, I saw a shaking in recovery. <sighs> yeah. She's an Rem, she's an addict. Yeah. She's a they so that's why uh, Bumpy swiped the daughter from her. So the actual Margaret daughter is Elise's daughter. So that's Bumpy's the grandfather, but Margaret has no clue. Margaret's the actual daughter, she has no clue. But Mamie and all of them like just keeping it a secret. Keeping it a bloody secret. Stella Gigante now. So Stella is the daughter of Vincent Gigante. Um, a father of the five family or one of the five families, she's dating a black brother. And they don't like it one In bit. In the 1960s, <laughs> Ram? Oh. They don't like it one bit. One bit is an understatement. And she's willing to risk it all. She's willing to risk the whole <laughs> thing for my man. The whole thing for my man. All my man does is he sing one song throughout the whole season and they want him gone. They want him gone. So he hires Rafi there. Ernie at the bottom left, he, he, uh, he has Nunzi, like, my daughter's seeing this spreader. I don't like it. I want you to take her out, find out some information. And then obviously, top man, pause. They go to a, go to like a, one of these jazz cafes or whatever. And he pops the wrong brother. He pops Teddy. Teddy's the boyfriend of Stella. Stella. So 
they popped one of Teddy's boys, who's just another black brother that's singing in the dance. Obviously, Stella, Stella's like, how did this happen? Because Te Teddy's obviously grieving, like, rah, my boy's dead. I don't even know why I go on. Then Stella starts putting two and two together. Oh, it must have been my man hide from my pops. Cool. So you can already tell this internal beef. It's a civil Damn. war in the yard. It's a civil war in the yard. So do you, random, do you remember I asked you, man, a question? It could have been on a Patreon episode about if you were a uh, villain in a show, how would you want to duppy the antagonist or something like that? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? And do you remember what I said? Nah. I said about slicing a man with a throat with a ting. Oh my God. Yes, you did. Yeah. Bumpy. I've seen, I've seen him do it twice. That's I've all Bumpy do, does. Yeah, he do twice. slices, man. He doesn't think, he just slices. He gets a razor blade that they do for like a like shape up thing. You're gone. Bro, one scene I saw. I know, I know exactly the scene I was talking about. Uh, when he was trying to pattern a deal with Donny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pattern a deal, everything's calm. Mm. He was like, this is what I want to do. This is what we should do. Da -da 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 -da. Gas, 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 mm. gas, 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 gas. And Donny's like, bro, I appreciate you. You're a legend. Yeah. It's, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't think he's going to pattern. Yeah. And Bobby's like, you know what? Fair play. I tried it. Didn't work. Donny was like, fair play. They shook hands. Sap. He didn't even <laughs> think about it. Bro. Sap. My way, highway, his go. His own kin, like skin tones. Bro, <laughs> another black brother just sliced it. Sliced him, bro. In his in his club. In his own club, his on his own birthday. Club, on his birthday, sliced his neck. Bumpy doesn't play. He doesn't play at all. Anyway, season one ends um, with somewhat of a twist because um, obviously, like I said, um, Stella's dating his black brother. Um, they killed the wrong brother, they, but they actually finally kill him. Stella's obviously livid. Um, and Ellsworth tries to like, figure out how to make moves considering they've got like internal problems with the Gigante family. Right. But season two, it boils down to them trying to get their French connection. So in season two, it's all about the French connect. Um, getting all the heroin from Marseille. And this guy oh, is- Doogee. Bro, they, he, good, yeah, Doogee, Doogee. <laughs> yeah, They're trying to get that Doogee from yeah, uh, Marseille. Yeah, that yeah. Doogee. And when I say they supply, mm. they supply. Um, the Italians, they're like, cool, this is our supply. This is our guy, gang, 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 gang. Obviously, Bumpy's not having it. He wants piece of the pie as well. So the, the whole of season two is about how he can convince um, the French connects to come on his side so we can scrap off the Italians. But um, the twist of, I didn't even tell you a twist in season one. So one of the main reasons why the five families aren't like very cohesive is because Vincent Gigante, um, Duppied Stella's old man. Not the black brother, there was a brother she was dating before who is a son of one of the fathers of the five families. His Ooh. name is um, Bonanno, Joe Bonanno. Chaz. Right. So Joe Bonanno's son, I think his name is Stephen. They never showed him, but they just said he died. Didn't know why, didn't know how, blah, blah. They just said he died when he was younger. But the reason why he died was because he was dating Stella. He was 17, Stella was 13. Apparently they banged. Oh! Born into the show, apparently they banged. He, obviously, Gigante wasn't having it. He hired two black brothers to duppy him, and then Vincent duppied the two black brothers, but blamed the kill, obviously, on the two black brothers. Do you see what I'm saying? Facts! So... That's crazy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Joe Bonanno's always assumes that it's just the black guys. He that's why he's hated. Oh, he just hates he blacks. He hates blacks because of this situation. Oh, not man. knowing that it's his boy that hired the blacks. You see what I'm saying? Rooney. But that's how Bumpy gets into it because Stella has had enough. <gasps> Stella found out, told Bumpy, and Bumpy said, "Yeah, this is how I'm gonna run the streets." I'm gonna cause confusion in the streets. Among the families. Among the families, because I'm telling Banana. Oh, if you don't believe me, rah. ask his daughter. The daughter bowled up, came out of the car and spilled it all. They're at war. Oh! They're at war, That's Jay. juicy. These men are at war. That's season two. That's season two. That's like half of season two. So obviously Stella's had two boyfriends now. The first banana guy and the black brother that died. Yeah. So all of her man just get duppied by the dad. By the dad, yes. So now, remember I said to you in season one, um, Ernie tried to do a thing with Stella, but on a sly thing, but Ernie actually really likes her. Oh, so he's actually trying to pattern her. He's actually trying to pattern her, but Stella obviously hates guts. Yeah, 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 you yeah, what yeah, I'm yeah. But over a period of time, they realize one, they're similar people, and two, the person, okay, I take it back. Vincent didn't actually duppy the black brother. He got someone else to duppy, and when I say the black brother, I mean um, Teddy. Okay. Musician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got someone else to do it the same way he got someone else to do Bonanno's song. Okay, 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 okay. But the brother he got to do it was Vincent's best friend. 
Do you see what I'm saying? Vincent's best friend is the one that duppied off the Ute. Okay. But Ernie was meant to duppy him off in the first place. But Ernie and um, his name is Benny, the person that duppied him. Ernie and Benny are obviously in the same crew with Vincent. So Ernie was trying to warn Stella, like, yo, be, like he's feeling her now. Mm -mm -mm. I'm trying to warn you. And he was with, Stella was with the man, with Teddy. I'm trying to warn you, man, listen, I know you don't like me, but you man need to leave town. Oh. Because Benny, Benny's trying to do up a thing. It's like literally, man was singing, came out of the concert, came out of the show with Stella hand in hand. Ernie came through, said, yo, you managed to leave. Benny round the corner, bang, bang, dropped him. Why is he going to be walking around holding hands with this girl? Fam, he, when I say he doesn't care. He just lo loves her. He loves, they tried to go to the, <laughs> Teddy's mom uh, wants to smack him every time. I bet. Wants to say, this white girl is going to get you killed. <laughs> Every week, <laughs> week in, week out, this white girl's gonna get you killed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fam, Benny, but just bang, bang. He duppied him twice. And he's like, damn. That was the end of season two. Season, uh, no, sorry. That was the tail end of like mid season two. But it kept on going in the sense of Ernie trying to regain Stella's trust. And like, because Stella was like, I'm, I'm done with this family. Yeah, I'm and charging I'm, this whole thing. I'm killing Benny. Oh. I don't care what you say. I'm a gigante deep down. Yeah, so yeah, I'll yeah. do what I want. Oh. I'm killing Benny. Damn. Bear in mind, Benny's gigante's best friend. They might have been about to get, it's like, it's like one of them trying to duppy me. And do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So she, she, she kind of like creates a plan and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't really work at first, but it gets to a point where she sees him by himself. She has a gun. She shoots him and duppies him in the leg. But coincidentally, Ernie's in the same space and Ernie's now confused. He points his gun to her. Like, what have you done? Oh, Do you know the rough. position you're putting me in? Yeah. Benny's like, shoot her, shoot her, shoot her. He points the gun to him, pops him in his oh! head. Oh! Pops him in his head. This girl's got everyone twisted. Bro? She's got everyone twisted. And do you know the maddest thing? Gigante's brother, Dominic Fumasa, is a priest. So he confesses everything to his brother. Oh, I've seen him do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And obviously yeah, yeah, she yeah. confesses everything to the brother. Yeah, so that's yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 the yeah, family's yeah, yeah. priest. And it's, it's, it's just bonkers. He's got all the much. sauce on everyone. All the sauce on everyone. And she said, she said, um, she said before, before she kills, um, before she kills Benny, the reason why I'm doing this or the reason why I'm telling you this, oh, cause she's, long story short, she told him in the end. She okay. said, the reason why I'm telling you this is because I'm tired of all these lies. Let's just be a truthful family, pick. What do you want? Do you want this gang family or do you want your family? You have to pick. You have to pick, bro. Damn. And she, oh uh, yeah, that, that was long. But how the season ended was long story short, before Stella said to uh, Gigante saying, listen, I like Ernie. We're gonna try and make this work, blah, blah, blah. Treat him like you would treat any of my other boyfriends. Don't mess this up. Prior to her- She said that, that to her dad? She said that to her dad. Oh Jesus. This is post Benny Duppy, but they had kind of somewhat made up. Mm. Per se. Mm, 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 mm. But. And little does she know that the dad duppies all the boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So prior to that conversation, she obviously, he was livid about the Benny situation. And obviously found out that Ernie popped him in the head. Oh, God. So he got one of his other boys to take Ernie to some bank because there was riots in Harlem. Um, so they were focused on keeping like the affluent areas safe but there was a bank in like deep black Harlem that was empty. So it's like, let's rob that to get some people. He said, take Ernie with you. Oh Jesus. Then obviously the conversation with Stella happened and then Gigante was like, oh my God, what kind of world am I in? I've just tried to duppy him, but yet now you're telling me my daughter wants me to save him, blah, blah, blah. He ran to the bank. He said, Ernie, where are you? Ernie, where are you? He's like, oh, I'm here, I'm here, well gone. He's like, oh, where's Fingy? Oh, you just said it. Bang, <gasps> bang, bro, gone. And he obviously, the next scene after that was him talking to his daughter. You know, I tried my best. I didn't mean to do this, try oh everything. My God. And he starts walking off, you realize he's in handcuffs. She sold the whole family out. Oh, she said enough is enough. Enough is this enough. This is strike three. Strike three. This is boyfriend is three, enough. strike three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Season done, three, done. episode one, he's not in the episode. Oh. He's in pen, bro. Oh. He's in pen, bro. Stella, yeah. Stella is doing bits. Now, continuing. Stella's- We're in season three now? We're in season three now. Vincent's missus is Catherine. Uh, her name is Olympia in the show, but that's not Stella's mum, it's a stepmom. Mm. So Olympia found out, obviously Olympia knows everything now because Stella baited the whole thing. Olympia got one of the other 
heads of the five families to find someone to try and duppy Stella. Oh, Christ. Obviously, though, you put my man in pen. But that's the daughter of the boss, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 you see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, Do you yeah, see yeah, the yeah, conflict? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, it's crazy. Oh, yeah, I've just realized she asked one of the heads of the other five families to kill the daughter of one of another heads of the five families. That's what I'm saying. That's a war. What are you asking of me? Every other episode, these men talk about war. Oh. These men say it's going to be a war. It's going to be a war. It's going to be a war. And it, bro, nine times out of ten, it's a war, bro. So now we're kicking off season three with a, with a war. We're kicking off season three with a potential war because St obviously Stella didn't let it happen. Stella was intuitive. Like, she's a gigante in the end. She's a gigante Damn. in the end. She did what she had to do. She did what she had Damn, to do. Man, so that's, the, that's the title of the whole thing. She's a gigante in the end. She's a gigante in the end, my bro. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Yeah, bro. Season three started off with an absolute bang. Yeah, that. yeah, 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 yeah. It's um, a good show. So yeah, it sounds like a show, fam. Bro, it's, it's, it's... I can't wait for the next episode. Long story short. All right, gang. Long story short, I can't wait for the next episode. So guys, make sure you check out the new season of Godfather of Harlem. Streaming now on Lionsgate Plus. Sensational. Yes, sir. Okay, guys, let's take a very quick break because today we are brought to you by Manscaped. Mm -hmm. Manscaped have taken a step up from Balloween. <laughs> Take a step from Balloween to bring your face the cleanest shaved it's ever <clears throat> seen. So this season, no need to toil and trouble. Manscaped's all new handyman is the best way to get rid of that stubble. Rhymes on rhymes on oh, rhymes. That's what I'm gonna say, bro. These bro. Are, it's when I drop in bars today. <laughs> Featuring a compact design and next gen skin safe technology, the handyman was designed to give you that smooth finish without the mess of a traditional shave. Get the sweetest treat this Halloween mm -hmm. by going to manscaped.com and use this code SNG Sierra November Go for 20% off plus free shipping. Let's get back to the juicy, juicy chit chat. Sir. Remski, trash news, please, sir. A priest broke his seal of confession to put a cheating wife on blast to her husband. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. Oh, dear. Huh? He broke some rules and he's Bro. going to hell. Bro, yeah. where's, where's the, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the, the- Confidentiality? The, oh, the confidentiality, <laughs> yeah, bro. Fam, non-existent. Priest, lawyer, like, yeah. you can't be spilling my stuff. Fam, check it. A priest violated his confession seal in order to inform the husband about an unfaithful wife. The woman was in a true dilemma and believed that Reddit was the only place where she could get help. The cheating woman went to the legal counsel subreddit to see if she could file a lawsuit against her priest. She posted about cheating on her husband while traveling for work in 2022. Mary didn't feel especially bad about it at the time since she has her husband, since she and her husband were on a shaky ground. Raw. So you post about it. So she posted it on Jesus. Beyonce's internet, okay. But then came to her senses and she, had, she immediately felt horrible about the situation. So she, she decided to come clean to the priest. As part of her penance, the priest told her that she had to tell her husband what had happened. Naturally, this is not a simple undertake undertaking, so she paused to consider her options. So instead of checking in with the cheating wife, the priest felt the, that he needed to update and spoke with her and her husband instead. I can't even wow. remember. Wow. She returned home one evening to discover him violently tossing her belongings out of their bedroom. Right. She deduced what had happened. My whole world is exploding because I thought confession was supposed to be private, she wrote. Does this priest have any kind of liability or responsibility? Bro, that's a, that's a good dilemma, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it is an interesting dilemma. It's interesting. Um, interesting. I feel like it's, it's very interesting. Someone commented, a priest violating his code? Never heard that one before. Facts. <laughs> oh, wow. Priests are renowned for doing yeah. stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is the least of it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but but I feel like in that aspect, you don't necessarily... Anyway, continue. I don't know, man. Well, he said he, need, he only spoke to the husband because he needed an update. So it sounded like he, he assumed mm. that the husband knew. Mm. Whether he, whether or not he, it sounded like uh, I'm just checking in because I need an, I want an update about what's going on. Not like it's your business for an update. Yeah, definitely not your business. Um, <clears throat> but the way it's premised here is that he wasn't spilling her confession. It was a case of she'd confessed. He's saying if you want to be forgiven by the Lord, you best go tell your husband. He assumed she wanted her to get forgiven by the Lord. So um, 
She posted her. So instead of checking in with the cheating wife, the priest felt the need. I uh, felt he needed an update and spoke with her husband instead. So it didn't sound like you don't know this and she confessed this to me, but she's been cheating on you. It sounded like he said, so how do you feel after your wife told you? Yeah, but it's, it's also like, you're not a therapist. You mm. shouldn't- Some people, I promise you, some, be, uh, some I, people treat I, priests I, as therapists. I get that, but I also feel like, I don't think, <clears throat> well, I have no idea because I've never been to a priest in this manner or whatever, but I also feel like, a priest shouldn't be asking the questions. Mm. You should let the, whoever come into the room the priest confess listening. and speak yeah. and then listen and then like add tidbits as and when. Right. Add Hail Marys, add prayers. Do you see what I'm saying? Right. A priest shouldn't, you, I, I as the husband shouldn't come into a, a church, sit down and a priest would tell me, so what's the update on you and your cheating wife? Do you see what I'm saying? That's, yeah. I think, I, I, I don't know bro, this is his flock. I think you'll be surprised because the priest, it doesn't say here that he told the husband in the confession box. True. Mm. Okay. That, that, that makes it worse, no? No, because he could have just seen the husband on Sunday. Mm. Yeah. And gone over to him and been like, because the open plane, like, I agree with what you were saying if mm. it was in the confession box. That's how, that's if, how I'm deep Yeah, in if the husband went in the confession box yeah. and was speaking, 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 then he's like, oh, by the way, mm. how did this go? That's not how it's supposed to go. Mm. But if he's just his flock, <clears throat> people go to priests with issues all the time mm. yeah, and they yeah, want I the guess, priest's advice on this, that, and the other. Mm. So he's probably confident to be like, um, you must be really hurting right now. Mm. How's, how's every, how, how are you coping? He's like, what the fuck? And he's like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, obviously Sarah and, mm. and Donnie. Mm. Banging guys on Reddit. Yeah, yeah facts. <laughs> Banging guys and t talking about it on Reddit. Yeah. How you feeling? And I said, what? And he said, what? <laughs> facts. <laughs> I told her she's going to hell if she doesn't tell yeah, you. He's, he's, he's pulling yeah, yeah, his collar yeah, like, raw. Oh, she wants hell. She wants hell. Say less. My bad, my bad, my bad. <clears throat> yeah, right. so I, I'm, I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate, obviously. Mm. But um, yeah, if it's premised that way, I can see that he hasn't really broken any oaths. Mm. Um, I guess. In that in that scenario, yeah, I agree. But I definitely assumed it was the way for said. Same, yeah. Because I'm, I'm looking at the picture, I'm yeah, seeing how it is. I'm yeah, just deep as it is in a confession box. This confession box yeah. pick here is like just- This thing's like, ingrained in me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like he's literally whispering to my man right there, like your fam. Your fam. So what going with your wife? What going with your cheating wife? Though? I'd yeah. make a terrible priest. I'm telling everyone, everyone's business. <laughs> I'm, there's not a wife in there that can come and tell me she's a <laughs> cheat. There's not a wife. There's not a wife in that flock that she can tell me she's a cheat and I'm not gonna tell her man. <coughs> there's not a, there's not a single one. Why? You wouldn't have a congregation anymore. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't have anyone That's following true. me. Because I, I like sleep. You, you. I like <laughs> peace, bro. I'm not I'm not finding this stuff out. Plus, first of all, don't cheat. Mm. Second of mm. all, don't tell me you cheated, posted it on Reddit, and I'm the criminal. Yeah, facts. Mm, you told facts. the internet, so it's free. as far as I'm concerned, it's free game. Facts. If you're posting facts. it online, facts. it's free game. Facts. Um, but yeah, it's a bit mad. The com but yeah, at the same time, the confidence that she has to be like, I'm trying to sue this priest. Mm. Does someone help me? No one should be helping you do anything. Facts. Mm. You posted it on Reddit, for goodness sake. Yeah, you don't get to cheat on your husband, post it on Reddit. And then when shit comes to bite you in the ass, you be like, fuck this priest. Yeah. It really this really is, this is, this is your cake. This is your cake, bro. Eat it. Well, so what do the um, comments say? There you go. Don't cheat at all. Oh, here we go. Would you have done the same thing if it was the husband? Shut up, man. <laughs> She's more worried about her priest. Um, her but, priest vows instead of her own. Facts. Mm. Oh, God that's damn. a twist to Rooney. Facts. That's facts. a twist to Rooney. Facts. Never been so close to hitting a like. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> that's facts. Can't feel bad for a person that cheats, but the priest did break. The priest did break with vows, so both are wrong. Don't cheat. Only confess to God, not humans. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, why don't they do that when, when one of their homies, homies touches touch children? children? All right, next, next. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next seggy, yeah. next seggy, next seggy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Charge, charge, charge. It's right. a family show. So I've got a dilemma. All right, hear me, bro. So I found this one. Or well, someone, I didn't find it. Someone sent it, to, a few people sent this to me mm. from the old classic uh, Six Brown Chicks page. Okay. They get the juiciest dilemmas. They do. I'm not going to like, they, need, they deserve their flowers because... Mm. We've been asking for dilemmas for years now. Mm. And we've had some juicy ones. Yeah. But these ones, they're consistent yeah, yeah, with their yeah, juice. Yeah, they do. They do. Always. Always. It's wild. So props to them. Yeah. Right. This one. All right, hit me. 
I left my wife of 23 years for a younger woman Jesus. who works at the car wash. Jesus, he saw a fantasy and Fam ran with it. Fuck. I left my wife for a 23 year old woman. Um, for a, no, 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 of sorry. 23 years. 23 years. For a younger woman. <clears throat> for a younger woman who works at the car wash. Jesus. I tell her about life, show her around, etc. I sp In brackets, I spend a little money on her, not too much. <laughs> Irrelevant information. Irrelevant. Irrelevant of information. Fan? I love when people speckle dust of, of deceit. <laughs> yeah, and just everywhere. Like, trying to distract me with stuff. <laughs> Get to the point, bro. Facts. I, not <laughs> I noticed she had my number saved under wisdom on her phone. That shows age difference fan? already. I'm unattracted already. Under wisdom on oh, her phone. Flipping I out. figured she called me wisdom because I teach her so much about life. My 18 year old daughter sent me a TikTok video of <laughs> that my young girlfriend made. In the video, she said, I'm so poor. I'm fucking an old man who's shaped like a wisdom tooth. <laughs> no! <laughs> what a plot twist. Fam, I'm so poor. I'm fucking an old man who's shaped like a wisdom tooth. And he has the audacity to be cheap. Where and then him? Where do I go from here? Confront her or just move on? I'm hurt and embarrassed. Advice? There is no <laughs> advice. Wow. A TikTok. Not even a tweet, bro. <laughs> she didn't a care. TikTok. She didn't care if he saw it. My daughter sent it to me. It's your fault. Why are you leaving your wife of 23 years for a fucking car wash lady? It's your fault. Facts. It's your fault. You get. You reap what you sow, my dear. She has nothing to do but make TikToks. Facts, bro. Facts, bro. You reap what you... Oh, my days. Man's asking for help. Bro, advice. I left my wife and this new thing is... is it's embarrassing me on TikTok. <laughs> she said I look like a wisdom dude. <laughs> that? Women are so specific. Do you know what a wisdom dude looks like? <laughs> it's fat and it's got two little legs. That's crazy, bro. It's fat on top. <laughs> and it's got two skinny little legs. <laughs> A what? man said, I'm saved as wisdom. Is it because of my- I teach her so much about life. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's because man's fat on top. Yeah, sir. That's a spin -a rooney like you said. Wow. What do I do? There's nothing you can do, my, Bro. my good sir. It's charged. Yeah. The fact that your daughter had to send that to yeah. you. Address your midlife crisis and move on. Facts. That's a, that, that second, that's such secondhand embarrassment as the child. I would never want to see that. I'm so poor. I'm dating an old man who's shaped like a wisdom tooth. And he's cheap mm. too. And he has the audacity to be cheap. The, that, the audacity. The audacity <laughs> to be cheap is <laughs> relentless. Bro, me and my, oh God. If I find myself a bachelor at 60, yeah. and there's a young teen that wants it, mm. and I'm gassed, mm. and I find TikToks of her saying, I'm dating a man who's, Oh, I can't even say it. He's shaped like a wisdom. My, my hand will shake and I, shake and I shake. I cracked the iPhone 16. I crack it in my hand. <laughs> my 18 year old showed me this. <laughs> She's been seeing it. Facts, bro. I couldn't click on the comments. You can never. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can never. That's that moment. I would stare at myself in the mirror for hours. You would. It's one of them ones where I wouldn't discuss it with my daughter or my child or whatever. But I would also know she's got the leverage for years. Yeah, to come. Uh, she gets you know what, what she mean? wants. She gets what she wants. She now. gets what she wants, and I'm hitting the gym. Fast, because I've embarrassed my surname. Bro. She has to move on. She has this story until the day she dies. Wow. When people ask about her dad, mm. this is what will come to her mind. Wow, factual. Factual. He left my mum after 23 years of marriage for a car wash chick. And he found, I found out that she was cussing him on TikTok, said he's shaped like a wisdom tooth. I would find, a, what's, what's that thing where you, you, you like go away from your parents? What's it called? Like emancipation. Eman yeah, I'd emancipate. Yeah. <laughs> I'd have to emancipate. If you're the daughter. I can't be tied with that. Yeah, 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 you can't. I can't be you tied can't, with you that. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. That's bonkers, bro. It's, it's the worst. That's, it's the worst level of embarrassment I've ever heard. It's the worst thing, bro, because I can, forward thinking, mm -hmm. I can see the midlife crisis yep. and I can see, I thought I was down and out. Mm. And this young thing wants me. Mm. She wants me. Mm. Only to be told on the internet that I'm a fucking joke. <laughs> 
And I've got the audacity to be cheap. That, nah. that last bar, the audacity to be cheap. It's not bro, my fault. It's, it's not yeah. my choice. Bro, you think old and rich just, yeah. yeah. They collate. I'm just old. Yeah, facts. I'm just old, bro. Damn. She wanted that silver fox. Oh, bro. I'm so poor. And she's, she's using me mm. as an example of how sad her life is. Facts. Do you know how horrible that is? Facts. She's using me as an example to say, look how bad my life yeah. is. Look at what I'm this doing This is my with man. Everyone feels sorry for me. He's shaped like a tooth. <laughs> That's crazy. That's... <laughs> oh, oh, bro. That's that's nuts. That is nuts. Yeah, no, 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 no. What a good dilemma. What dilemma it's a solved. Yeah, it's a, it's a, a juicy, it's a juicy one. Right, so we've got a thread. Yep, yep, yep. Everyone's been send, sending me this thread all week. Mm -hmm. One thing I'm going to address. Mm. <laughs> one thing I'm going to address before we do this thread yeah. is that this is another South African thread, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Right, so let's just clear let's the clear, air with you, clear man. The air, facts. This week, you might have been getting carried away. <laughs> facts. So, last time we did a South African thread, me and Fia had mentioned that half of the thread was in English yeah. and half of it wasn't, right? Yeah. So, we said that it was gibberish. Mm. Now, there's, there's a mishap here yeah. in intended use of the word gibberish. Facts. Facts. We use gibberish for everything. Yeah. If I hear someone with a stry accent, mm. that's gibberish. Mm. That's just noise. Yeah. If someone's speaking overly intellectually to me and I can't understand it, you're speaking gibberish. gibberish yeah. If I'm in France, gibberish. Yeah. Spain, gibberish. Yeah. When I saw that you man thought that we were saying that your mother tongue like, is, is gibberish, gibberish. Yeah. fam, this is actually dread. <laughs> Let me actually do this because I was alone in my bed <laughs> and I had to, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I was so confused I had to Google what gibberish actually meant. Family, someone on Twitter um, reposted the video and then someone quote tweeted that and saying, I can't believe they spoke, they called it gibberish, blah, 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 and put the definition yeah, yeah, under fam, it. Yeah. I had to Google what the definition of gibberish meant because yeah. I thought, there's no way a nation is this angry. <laughs> a nation! <laughs> there's no way an entire nation is this angry yeah. about saying gibberish. Yeah. I call everything gibberish yeah. and no one said anything. What does it mean? Because yeah. I gibberish just means I don't understand. Yeah, mumble. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, gibberish just means I don't understand yeah, you, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. So when I, when I read it, I was like, bro. <laughs> bro, when I read gibberish, yeah? Noun, <laughs> unintelligible. Oh God. Meaningless. Oh God. Bro, nonsense. Oh God. When I read that, I was like, raw. Okay, okay, my bad, my bad. Raw, raw, raw. Apologies. Yeah, you're strong. Yeah, you're strong, you're strong, you're strong. My bad, my bad, my bad. If you man thought that <laughs> that we were saying that your language is meaningless. And unintelligible. And unintelligible. Come on, Bro, man. we're sorry. We are sorry. Obviously, we did not, we're not saying that. Jeez. Fucking hell. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> when I read that, I was like, raw. Bro. So. One, all seriousness, guys, if you genuinely thought that's what we meant and that's how you took it, our sincerest apologies. apologies. We would never, yeah. ever, ever say that your mother tongue is unintelligible or meaningless. Facts. We, the way we use the word, it just means I don't understand. Facts. That's literally <laughs> it. So again, <sighs> apologies. We love you, South Africa. Oh, another thing, I need to hold my hands up. Well on. I said that man was speaking Swahili. Sweetie, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure, gonna lie. That's Kenyan, I'm sure, is it Kenyan? It's bare East African. Yeah. I have to Google that too. Yeah, I think it's Kenyan. You man have put me on game this week yeah. because that's just what I thought. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's just what I when thought. you said it, I wasn't sure, but I also didn't have the balls to correct. Yeah. So I wasn't, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it was one of them ones. Don't know. It was one of them ones where, yeah. it's one of them ones where like, I was also saying it to say it. Mm. I wasn't actually, I like, I, know what you mean. I didn't, I exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know where, I didn't know who said Swahili. Mm. Sw Swahili. Mm. I just said it. Mm. Again, didn't mean to be offensive. Mm. I just said it. Mm. So then I had to Google what language they speak in South Africa. First of all, it's like 26. Mm. Oh yeah, there's lots of them. Bare of them. Yeah, 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 I was like, damn, yeah, bro. Yeah. So again, if you were offended by that, sorry. I'm sure when it's like Kosa or something like that. It's, oh fam? Yeah, like X, H, S, A or something. Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, bare. Yeah. But anyway, guys, that's how it's clean slate. Yeah. yeah. We love you. you we love, love us, you. Man. Come on, we man. didn't mean it. Please don't be vexed. Come on, man. But yeah, the, you might have juicy, juicy threads as well. So let's not burn bridges. Facts, bro. Let's not start burning Facts, bridges. Because you guys provide the content. We just spread the word. Yeah. But <sighs> anyway, right, start us off. the title of the thread is <laughs> that phase where you slowly start hating your girlfriend is crazy. 
this might be one of the funniest threads. It's one of the funniest threads I've ever seen in my entire life. Bro, I was in the barber's screenshot and wants to say for the show, like holding my breath. Yeah. I was in the chair holding my breath so I don't fuck bro. my lineup. Yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah, bro. It's fact, right. You can kick us off and then we're just going to run it. All right. You'll be wondering why your day is going so well. <laughs> Her battery died. <laughs> Bro, oh my God, <laughs> you, <laughs> you, this is nuts. You'll be having a bad day, and when she hugs you, it becomes even worse. That's nuts, bro. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> then someone commented under that. Her hug feels like you're getting mugged. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> oh, oh. Man said. I remember this one time on a weekend, she said she was coming. Yo, I cried. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, Donnie said, pretending to be asleep and murmuring her girl best friend's name in a sexy way so that she gets a reason to leave. Oh my days, bro. That's insanity. That is insanity. Because you're risking a broken nose. You, you're risking a broken a lot of things. That's no, insanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. <laughs> When she says talk to me, and you know she's not worth the effort, so you just tell her it's fine. Yeah. Oh, that's tough. She's not worth the effort. <laughs> talk to me, you know, bro. When her kisses start to feel like being licked by a dog. Wow, bro. <laughs> nah, this one. Um, it's a, it's a comment, and then it's a screenshot of a text message. It says. When you know deep down, this isn't a typo. And then the text says, I wish you were her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and they come in here. Here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, slight pause in this. The reason this is so funny mm. is because all brares know this feeling. Oh yeah, facts. It's not always with a girlfriend. Mm. It could just be with a ting. Ting, yes, 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 And this yes, ties yes, into yes. that PNC mentality yes, yes, as well. Yes, 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 And you're yes, just like, yes. don't touch, touch me. me. Yeah. Don't speak to me. I'm done with you. Bro, when you wake up and see that good morning handsome, and you're just like, fuck off. Facts, bro. Fuck off. Facts, what is bro. this? Don't, I'm not handsome to you. Facts. I'm not your handsome. Facts. I'm not your man. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Bro, your butters, bro, stop. <laughs> Have I been banging you for three months? Yes. But I Am I over it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bro. Oh God. Um, when you're wondering why you're having such a peaceful day and it turns out she was giving you the silent dream. <laughs> That's, oh, brutal. When you keep messing up a purpose so that she gives you a reason to break up and she keeps forgiving you. Damn. Jarring. Fam, this one, when you receive her text, and it's like a debit order. <laughs> Fam, a text from your girl is like someone asking you for money. Oh, my days. Oh. <sighs> You'll be ghosting her and she will still be texting you like, I just want to make sure you're okay. You can talk to me. <sighs> I'd want to throw my phone. <sighs> Bro, this one was the craziest one. When you have to spit on her back to pretend that you came because she doesn't turn you on anymore. <laughs> that's that's uncalled that's, for. That's actually beyond out of order. Yeah, that's uncalled for. That's too far. That one had replies. I can imagine. That one had replies, I can imagine. bro. This one, you start asking yourself things like, does she have to chew when she eats? Yeah. <laughs> bro, the infuriation. Wow. Oh, when you shit. open a text thinking it's from the woman you actually want, but it's from her. Oh. oh. Savage. When she holds your hand in public and you feel like cutting it off. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. That made me snort. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Where she says, I'll call you when I get home. Then you switch off your phone and remove the battery. <laughs> <laughs> They're removing the battery is crazy. <laughs> he doesn't want to communicate Man, with anyone. There's no chance you're getting through to me. 
Remove the battery. <clears throat> Brazy. Oh. Right. Um, when you walk past a group of with her on purpose and no one tries to take her off your hands. <laughs> Oh, that's the next level. <sighs> when you when you no longer have an ego about her, that's another level, <laughs> fam. <What>? This one, <laughs> this one might be the same as yours. <laughs> when, the, <laughs> when the problem asks you what the problem is. <laughs> oh, no. This one, no. when her smile takes away yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh god this is the funniest when though. you decide to unlock your phone so she could check anytime <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my god <laughs> uh. oh. sometimes having a girlfriend is like having an op you're forced to see oh my god jesus i think i'm done same bro i think i'm done bro wow Wow. Thread. What a thread, thread. man. Wow. What a thread. Woo, what a day. Right, we're going to leave the episode there for you guys. Yeah, guys. Thank you very much. Facts. Again, SA, we love you. Mm. We're sorry. <laughs> we do love you with all our hearts. With all our hearts, <laughs> with bro. All our hearts. That was a tough week. <laughs> <laughs> some guy said... <laughs> man, some guy commented on one of our videos. Yeah. These men think my tongue is gibberish, yeah? <laughs> Well, take this. And he starts spitting bars. Yeah. I had to translate all of them. Basically, said, suck your mum. I swear. And I said, raw, suck your mum. Jesus. It was nuts. Oh, my day. Anyway, guys, thank you for today. Facts. It's been good. Always. Love, love, love. Gang, gang, gang. Bless. <laughs>